We return once again to the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. This time we are only talking about the photography kit because there are a lot of things to talk about this accessory. So let's do a quick unboxing first. It comes in this humongous box and opening up reveals yet another piece of card that tells you what you just bought. Underneath that, we have everything laid out in its own compartments. We have the Xiaomi 14 Ultra phone case, a camera grip, two rings that we'll get into later, and another ring that we can install a 67mm filters on it, and also another box of accessories that I won't touch since the only usable thing here is the wrist strap. I was hoping for Xiaomi to include some ND filter or CPL filters in the box, but uh, we'll have to buy that on our own, so yeah. So to use this, we first have to install the case on the phone, then snap the camera grip onto the bottom of the phone and then push this lever to lock it in place so that the phone doesn't just slip out and fall to the ground. It makes the phone even bulkier but in a good way. It makes it feel like a proper camera at hand and those buttons work as expected. The big shutter button is for photo and can be pressed halfway to focus as well. And the video button is to immediately switch to video mode and shoot a video at the same time but we can also zoom using this lever here and there is also an exposure dial at the top here as well. We can customize what all of these buttons and levers do in the settings menu but I think its default is already very good. And speaking of customizations, we can change this ring color too. By default, it's using a grey color ring but we can change it to the included copper color ring which I think just looks better in general. However, these two rings are they do feel cheap and uh, if we brush on it in this way then it will definitely scrape off the dead skin from my finger as you can see in this shot here. I just feel like the camera grip is not really refined in terms of software and let me show you why. We can hold the shutter button to launch the camera app then press the video button and it will automatically change to video mode and start recording like what we said earlier but I cannot press the shutter button to return to photo mode. I will have to do that manually. And also, where is my thumb supposed to go? If I'm holding the grip in this way, then yes, it's comfortable, but my thumb will always be touching some part of the screen. If I hold it in another way, then yes, my thumb is out of the screen, but it just feels very uncomfortable. Now, this camera grip also acts like a power bank as well. It has a 5.87 watt hour battery capacity or 1500mAh. Once we plug the camera grip into the phone, it will immediately drain all of the camera grip's battery and charge the phone first. It doesn't seem to have any sort of load balancing and it does have a USB Type-C port and another LED at the bottom side of this camera grip so we can charge this camera grip alone. Question is, if we plug in the 90 watt charger into the camera grip while it is attached to the phone, does it actually fast charge the phone? The answer is yes, but it's kind of buggy. I've seen this phone suddenly just restart charging and quit the 90 watt fast charging mode when it is only at about 25% battery. I have no idea what happened and I unplug and replug this and uh, it kind of doesn't want to enter 90 watt fast charging mode but uh, I had to restart the phone, let it cool down a bit, do whatever it takes to actually enter 90 watt mode yet once more. Eventually, I did manage to get one full charging cycle with 90 watt mode enabled and here is the charging speed. In comparison with just the phone alone, I don't think it has any difference and it just seems to be charging the phone first. Once the phone is completely charged, then it will only charge the camera grip. The camera grip itself will only charge at a very low speed, so do keep that in mind. Yeah, the, the camera grip doesn't support fast charging. Also, once the camera grip is installed to the phone, USB file transfers do not work, and display output via USB-C does not work either. That's quite a bummer because this is the exact same situation with the ROG Phone 8 with the Aeroactive Cooler X. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra Photography Kit will also be sold separately but I have no idea why you would want to buy this photography kit if you are not already using the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. This photography kit won't work with any other phones, at least not properly. I can fit the S24 Plus into the camera grip but I even have to remove my super thin Pitaka case just to make it fit. Out of all the features available, only three things work on the S24 Plus. So this shutter button works 
as in fully pressed down to take a picture. The half press focusing does not work. The zoom lever works and the power bank portion also works. Other than that, it's, uh, yeah, it's a no-go. And that's all that we have to share with you about the Xiaomi 14 Ultra Photography Kit. I think overall it does offer a lot of utility but only if you're using the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. I really like how this thing improves my grip when I want to take a picture but uh, yeah, holding it like this in camera mode, I will always be touching something so that's not really a good thing to have, right? So yeah, th those are something that can be addressed via software. So hopefully Xiaomi will also continue to improve it via software updates and whatnot. And you can also update the firmware of the camera grip. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.